fall and all these Formula Vs will get away. There from the middle of the grid, a number of cars have got away quite quickly. The uh, leader though at this stage is still uh, Dick Crawford with Steve D moving inside into uh, innkeeper's corner is Robert Antell with Ian Johnson in the yellow car in uh, position behind that. And second place behind the, him is uh, Ian Johnson in a Trowbridge, car number 27. In third position is Jeff Pantic in an Elfin. Then coming behind them, as done in the past, Ian Johnson looking for a way past him. The wiliest driver in this race is uh, Jeff Pantic and he's got himself into a very good position going up roadways here well in reverse grid races he's got himself into an excellent position he'll outbreak Robert Antell and in the Trowbridge V he goes through into the lead of this Formula V reverse grid this is attempted to attract stars Peter Brock Alan Moffat Dick Johnson and company to race however elsewhere in Australia and preparations for the World Touring Car Championship round in Monza prevented any of the stars from accepting the Baskerville offer Instead, local drivers turned out for a club meeting, which featured another round of the Hounds of Baskerville Championship. His car parts Formula V was a reverse grid start, with the slower cars at the front and the quicker at the back. It didn't take long for the faster cars to make their way through the field. All bottomly went to the front on lap two of the eight-lap race and was never headed. It was action back in the field, though, with Chris Beach spinning out and James Harrington and Steve Wiley going across the line locked together for second place. Today's race was a 15-minute scratch event. Stokel went straight to the front and for most of the race held a comfortable. Stokel and Bottomley cleared out with the handy break over the field and it was obvious a long way from the finish that the winner, barring accidents, would get to win comfortably until the last lap when Bottomley charged through to grab the lead at the top of the circuit. But Stokel, who'd led since the starter's flag, wasn't about to be denied and he wrested the lead from Bottomley in the back straight. The two then charged around the final bend together and at the finish there was less than a tenth of a second between them with victory going to Stokel in one of the closest finishes seen at the track. Stokel, second in the first round of the championship, earned nine points today and will take a three-point lead into the...